السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام آئی ایم محمد عاقب فرام ملتان پاکستان آئی ایم اے میکینیکل انجینئر بائی پروفیشن آئی لیو ان ابو دھابی وتھ ہندو ورکرس ونس دے انوائٹیڈ می ٹو دا ریلیجیس پارٹی اینڈ آئی وینٹ اینڈ ایٹ پرساد اینڈ ڈونیٹیڈ ٹین یو اے ای دھرم سر آئی ایم افریڈ دیٹ دس از شرک بٹ ان مائی مائنڈ اٹ واز اونلی اے فرینڈس پارٹی از واٹ آئی ڈیڈ پرمیٹیڈ ان اسلام ہاؤ کین آئی ریپینٹ اف اٹ از رانگ the mumma saqib from multan and that's the question that he lives in abu dhabi and he lives with hindu friends so once he went to the religious party and they gave him prasad and he had it and he even donated 10 dirhams ua dirham to it now he's afraid that what he did is wrong and he wants to know whether it's right or wrong and what should he do as far as eating prasad is concerned allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the quran in no less than four different places In Surah Baqarah chapter number 2 verse number 173 In Surah Maida chapter number 5 verse number 3 In Surah Anam chapter number 6 verse number 145 And in Surah Nahal chapter number 16 verse number 115 Hurrimat alaykumul maytutu waddamu walahul kinzir Wa ma ohilla li gheri labi Forbrin for you for food are Dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine And any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken So all these four types of food are prohibited Pork dead meat uh, all uh, dead meat is prohibited blood is prohibited pork is prohibited and any food on which any name besides Allah's name is taken so prasad falls in the fourth category of this verse in prasad the Hindus take the name of their God which is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a false God and they take the name of God and they serve this food to other people so this is prohibited in Islam to have it is haram what should you do? you should ask for forgiveness repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala agree it is wrong ask Allah to forgive you stop it don't do it again you cannot undo it you cannot take it out but you can do some good deeds of charity etc you can read more Nafil Salah etc. So this, these things help in overcoming the sins you have done. The second point you mentioned was that you donated 10 UAE dhiram to the religious function. Allah clearly says in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 2, do not, it says that help each other in bir and taqwa, help each other in good work and righteousness. But do not help each other in sin and rancor and transgression. So this was of the Quran of Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 2 clearly mentions that help each one another in righteousness and good deeds, but do not help one another in sin, in sin and transgression. So donating money to a non-Muslim religious function, most of it which is against the teachings of the Quran and Hadith or donating for a temple or donating for prasad all these are acts which are haram you cannot support each other in shirk whether it be for religious gathering or for a non-Muslim religious function this takes you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here too you have to ask for forgiveness ask Allah for repentance and see to it that you donate multiple times more amount to the poor people, for charity. Helping non-Muslim per se is not prohibited. You can very well help non-Muslim who are poor, help them in education, help them if they're hungry, give them food, look after them, but you cannot help them in things which are haram. You cannot help them in shirk, you cannot help them to build a religious place of worship, but surely you can help them in many other ways. You can help them in education, help them in medical, help them for food, but not in things which are private in Islam. Hope that answers the question.